Hello everyone, Leap Up Kato back here again with some Machine for Pigs. Uh, it's been a while since I've uh, played this game in particular. Uh, it's been about three months. Uh, a lot of setbacks trying to figure things out. Uh, someone left a really helpful comment. M might have been, might have been, could have been, uh, worded a bit nicer. But uh, it helped me in the long run. I think I figured it out. Uh, he said that my audio uh, was only working on the left side of their headphones or whatever audio device they were using. And uh, I'm using a like a recording studio microphone like for music. Uh, usually it's is what it's used for. So I had it on an arm. You can see in my past videos. Uh, it just was recording on one side. I'm guessing that's why. So hopefully I have it facing towards me now. And then very jigger uh, <laughs> Jerry rigged away. Uh, so yeah. And then uh, I was having a lot of troubles with HDCP uh, stuff, which if you don't know what that is, it's uh, it was invented by Intel, from what I read, and it's supposed to stop uh, video pirating, movie pirating, but I guess it's actually easy for them to get past that, but uh, it makes all kinds of trouble for anybody trying to just record videos, uh, and I think it was just me having my capture card plugged in while just watching YouTube that was triggering it, so I'm going to stop doing that, and then uh, I figured out a couple ways to untrigger it, because once it's triggered, you can't really easily get it out of that mode, even if you're just recording videos of gaming. So yeah, let's get into this. Last time, we got to another area, I just watched a little bit of the... Uh, Got into a new area. You drop down from a ladder place. And yeah, that's about all I can really say about that. There's pigs, pig people, furnaces. We got a Gooby Gooby Junior. And finally, I, I haven't been using my AC for a while. Um, I just haven't been putting it in in the summer. Because I can survive stuff, but I decided, hey, let's do it. Also, another reason why I haven't been using it is because it was dripping in the previous years, like water. But I think uh, it's it hasn't been doing that. Uh, so, yeah. Hopefully, it stays going that way. Okay, here we go. A to jump. And then this game, if I remember correctly, doesn't even have inventory. You just kind of pick up stuff and use it that way. Turn up my volume a little bit. My headphones. I also need to get new headphones soon, because these are on their last lengths, like... Isn't it dangerous allowing this filthy discharge to collect so close to the core? We can use the flow to drive the turbines. There will always be a torrent of excreta flooding through these tunnels. We can use this to supplement the steam production and ensure constancy. They must concentrate the SDGs. This fecal matter is the true product of the age. There seems to be a little monster in the water. Splishy, splishy, splashy. What was that? Friend again. Is it friend again? Is friend again here? This is a, a different, uh, different game. Technically, same game, same uh, file and everything, but. When they originally released, Justine sent into darkness or whatever, and the Machine for Pigs are all different games. Oh, okay, no, no, no. Uh, 
that's scary. That's spooky scary. Let's evaluate. I definitely don't have time to turn that valve before spooky scary gets me. So, I guess we'll just keep going. Okay, August 1st, 1899. Several of the older forms have reached their containment area and escaped into the sewers. They remind me of my limitations. This is no Chlem, and I am no Elua. At least, not quite yet. It is the heat generated from keeping the doorway between open that is the blame we cannot simply pack them about with coolant as we do at the same at at the center where the doorway is uh, the later versions are kept safe by the freezing temperature of those towers up here where the air is hot and fetid. They become overheated, and their duality tears them asunder. As the other place flies from their cells and their vitae splinters, they live sporadically, torn from one world to the other and back. Sorry for my awful reading, and it's also the text. I blame the text, always the text. Uh, I lost my place. Uh, they live sporadically, torn from one world to the other and back again in violent, unprecedentable bursts. For a few seconds, they are creatures of this world, then they are torn away and cease to have physical form. This vicious ripping back and forth between worlds has driven them quite insane. I have ordered at the affected areas sealed, and will not allow my loyal workers uh, something. Okay, good enough. Was that a phone in there? Or was that just a bell? Okay, there it is. Fast, Amandus. Drain the waters. Open the way to the bilge pumps. We are waiting for you. I really gotta get a dictionary or something, because, uh, my words... They be lacking my dictionary, my mind dictionary be lacking sometimes. You still in here? Oh! Ow, wow, 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 wow. Okay, where do I go? There must be another way to get the Louis. I must have. Oh, big piggy. Big boy, big piggy. That could be a song. Big, big, big boy, big piggy. Well, there's the Wii Skate. This is where I came from. 
Maybe. Maybe not. I'm kind of thinking maybe not, then. Never mind. I don't know. Yeah, and then I think over here I haven't been. Gate one. We can save them. We can set them free. We can replace a rotten old world with a clean new one. Mr. Hernandez, you sound every bit the fanatic. Well, how can I be otherwise, Professor? How can any man of ethics simply stand by and watch this world drown in its own excrement? And your engineer, this visionary with whom you have embarked upon this course, does he show you? Indeed he does. Indeed he does. The poor fellow has seen it all before. Now, this is not the first great civilization he has wept for. And so you set about things immediately upon them. Naturally, naturally. These things cannot be left to rot upon the tree. And sponsors were remarkably easy to find. I tell you, Professor, a trail of greed brings rich men to your door like pigs to truffles. certain order and it, it just kind of you become a part of the system you know? you are the machine Crotch. 
getting hot and heavy. Tied to spine. And who is that third? That shadow? That spirit child in the background? That barely formed? That changeling? That almost lived? That never missed? I think also part of my reading is their wording. Sometimes it's a bit off. <clears throat> Gooba Gooba agrees. Gooba Gooba Jr. I might just start calling him Gooby Gooba. Nice cog. I wonder if that uh, classifies as a different type of cog. If it's a cog with a thing through it, you know? You seem to have undergone quite a profound conversion in Mexico, Mr. Merlin. You could not have seen it yourself and not, Professor. As we disembarked, even through my fever, I saw the detritus of this so-called progress. I saw starvation and disease, rot and destruction polluting the waters of the Empire. We are ruiners, you and I, and all of us, and we make the world unclean. And you took it upon yourself to act as Redeemer. Professor, I would not be so presumptuous. I am merely a conduit. I am constructing an architecture to wrestle our damnation to the ground and smother it with steam. He's here! He's here! It's me. I said you'd come. It's a me, Elite Potato. I also did set up my uh, work. Ahead, the trickle to still waters. I drag myself deeper into the temple, downward ever, towards a wind that held the voices of my children, beckoning me to set them free. 
I'm in the process of setting up my JC Dogma uh, music recording area. So that stuff might be going down. Uh, so yeah, go check out or subscribe to JC Dogma uh, YouTube. I'm, I'll probably have it linked. Probably, maybe, definitely, maybe. Uh, linked in the description of this video. And if you can't find it there, it's probably in Real Giant Dreams suggested channel. And less likely, but possibly in the Pugtatoes recommended channel channels. <laughs> That was that was spooky scary. Jump scare right there. I thought that was the uh, symbol of the Sith. Or whatever Star Wars symbol that is. The Dark Empire. Uh, I could have swore I just saw text. Oh, was that? Auxiliary pump control. Pump that baby up. Seems a little unavoidable. Oh yeah, there's the I forgot their running buttons really off. stick run, left trigger apparently, which I wouldn't mind that being the case for games, but oh, I'm in the pit. that just kind of fast forwarded me, forward did it, me, or that was like my punishment hit for being so awful. Oh, ah, a 
Okay, I see. We gotta find the cog wheels. There's some kind of ladder.
don't even know why I was in the pit to begin with. Like, it just randomly dropped me in the pit. so difficult to see. Whatever. Here we go. got the piles of rotten apples. The children dancing. They pulled the child loose from the thresher, or at least what was left more where that came from, said the foreman, apologizing for the inconvenience. Is the thresher a machine? Or is that one of the pig things? I'm guessing a machine. Possibly even a machine for pigs. Like, uh, people, we need to really upgrade from, like, our building materials nowadays. Like, we need to start making buildings out of, like, plastic and stuff. You know? Build some thick, soundproof, like, apartments. I wouldn't mind living in an apartment as long as it's soundproof and... Like, you know, you don't have to bother anyone, you don't have to worry about managers or anything because you're in your own world, so you're in your own And you came then to London, and you set me upon a mantelpiece, and then you went into the house and gathered the servants, and we set you and I on recrafting them. And then you went into the garden and buried those tiny shattered skulls alone. We're going pretty deep here. For your children, Magnus, to spare them the world you have created. For 
mask. I feel like this is gonna be this is supposed to be, or is going to be super deep. some kind of puzzle. just does not want to go. And they feel no pain. The process is completely humane. Humane, Professor? Bye. That we judge the acceptable level of suffering by the human condition. Ask the beggar, Professor. Ask the orphan. Ask the whore. Ask the starving, Professor. The weak, the sick, the filthy. Ask them to define your humane. You give me work, I make you pig. Business proposition. Danger, compound X, highly flammable, highly corrosive, highly toxic. Oh, is that what I'm standing in? Seems to be a bit of a radiation scale going off. So is this what those levers are working on? Mm -hmm. Ah, uh, okay. Yep. And that's number three. I'm really hoping this audio turns out alright, because, uh... It's first time trying to record this way. And usually I'm kind of closer to... Oh, wow. Closer to the microphone. Nice fan. Very nice. I might not have 
have to go down here. But I'm already on the way. and set the future upon the path to redemption! Where are my children? You promised me my children! My time is come, more pig! More pig! You like it a pig. What the hell you like it a pig? Boys, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. at the end it felt like the end mandis sabauter uh, there are feats of engineering contained herein that would make even those clever fellows at the institute real with envy envy it makes so much sense this this ending if this is the ending you can just 
feel the sense that it makes, you know? Because it just makes that much sense, you know? When something really calls out to you, you can tell that it makes sense because it makes so much sense. Daddy, Papa. You can call me Papa Potato. And emerging, I raised my head to an uncaring sun and I cursed this world of pain and despair. This civilization built on the ricketed bones of the unfortunate, on the greed and swell of mammon and empire. Cradling a stone egg in my jacket, I kissed my children farewell, and I crawled my way home. So there have been mentions of temples and uh, statues of temples. So I don't know if it's just supposed to be kind of like a sacrifice thing, which I guess... It's the font. It's not my problem. It's the font's problem. Okay, let me scratch your week. Oh, God. August 31st, 1899. Children really are the most wonderful, useful creatures. Uh, the unfortunates from the orphanage, <laughs> orphanage have proved indispensable and cleaning the larger steam pipes. Uh, it appears that the that matter of the slaughter process may indeed vaporize at source, but drifts like dust through the air and lodges in the pipes, causing them to foul. Okay, causing them to foul. See, like, stuff like that. The wording just ain't, ain't, ain't wording, you know? It's causing them to foul, causing them to be foul, maybe, you know? Periodically, we shut the pressure down and send one of our pixies into the pipes to scrub the reconstituted fat away. Armed with just a shortened broom and little, our little explorers venture into the dark. Of course, we can only keep pressure down for a short period, so they must be fast, or they risk being trapped and boiled by the superheated vapors when they rush back into the system. Then we will be sending their comrades in after to scrape free the cooling mess. The survivors tell me that you can reach all manner of places within the complex through the pipes. I smile, tell them I'm so proud, and then feed them to the pigs, of course. As any sane man would. You must always, final step, feed the children to the pigs. Of any process, you know. Check one. Go to the store. Check two. Buy milk and eggs. Step three, feed, feed the children to the pigs. Came from here, and then what? Just got to go. Yes. Okay. Okay. Ah. Oops. Thank <laughs> you. 
What are you doing, little piggy? Do you think I will allow you to sabotage me again? I want my children, you unholy bastard! Damn you. I want my children. Oh, okay. That was would have been very easy to miss. If I had not just been a wild guy to try to try that. Will it hurt them? A cleansing fire always burns, little Mandus, but it purifies and it makes anew. Did it hurt to carve out the fevered flesh? Did it hurt to cut free the gangrenous foot? Ask instead this. Can we save them? When did I say that? That is not me. That is not me! Nor. Okay, well. Do these numbers mean stuff? What was that first one? Yeah, I thought it was one. Four, six, two. One, four, six, two. In some cultures, I'm pretty sure that they eat their dead parents. That's a thing. I don't have my lantern right now. Oh. Oh, okay. And maybe I can't. So it's kind of put me in a little, little baby boy perspective. December 1st, 1899, there's a spoon of medicine, I says, and it's a silver spoon. What you did get born holding. Ever so painful for mummy dear, but grasped so hard it was in a little screaming red fist. I feel like I have, like, I feel like that it's giving dementia, you know, it's giving something not great. Later, you used your spoon to dig a hole in the garden to get all the way to Mexico. And then you did eat worms with your spoon on the way to stay fat. What is going on? Am I just... Whatever. Okay, this spoon was the same you gave your twins. Then you used it to dig a hole to their clockwork souls, and you ate up their hearts like soup on the way you kept to keep you fat. Fat little mole, where will you dig next, I asks. You and your little silver spoon made from the silver spine of your children and wrapped in the hair of your dearly departed. Dear sweet Jesus, my darling Lilibeth, what am I become? You become stupid. You become big dumb dumb. You write. Like you talk to you. More numbers. Keep them access to the present and all that. Go walk here. Me stay. Me stay fed. Me eat worm. Me love you long time. For 
it if I came down from that ladder. Mysterious steam smoke.
department that will not process the waste, the official, oh, the oval of your world. They grit the system and stick the wheels to the temple floor. those kids they gonna feed them to the pigs black outline texture there. Feed them to the pigs.
Thank <laughs> you. 
I do think I clogged it with my feet footies. do like walkways.
I will rain excrement into your very soul. I will destroy you. You are too low, Commanders. My great works are almost begun. They are very, very nearly there. They are almost there. Almost like you could almost stop them. But you can't. Because they're almost there. And obviously, because they're almost there, you couldn't stop me. Don't be the foster. I will shit in your soul. Okay? I have to find a better chair. I'm just using like one of those folding white chairs. I guess there's other kinds of chairs. It's not even padded. But like, I bought a gaming chair once. I don't know if it's just I didn't put it together great. I am here again fell apart. at the foot of those stairs. Towards the red light of the nursery. I'm a large fellow. Sunset in the window like a bleeding sky. The horizon a slit throat. The seeping dark to drain the guilt from us. I am the Jaguar faced man. I am the feathered serpent. This priesthood is mine. See some silhouette looking things down there? 
Apparently this way is the way of the pipes. We'll go through the way of the pipes. Although it kind of looks like a dead end. It looks like uh, some of these feeding the pigs. I can meet him, your great engineer. How marvelous. I must say, Mr. Manders, my excitement is almost unseemly. Yes, I can see that. Step this way, Professor. I will be right behind you. Manders. Manders, where the devil are you? I can't see a damn thing. Manders! We are the pig, Professor. We are all the pig. We be pig. Poopy blood water. I climb in stillness now. Blue water runs in my veins, now I am clean. I carry the knife of this factory, the bowl of this mill. I am come to collect you from your fields and your furnaces. I will gather you into the white clouds. I will gather you to me, and I will take you home.
shots fired. December 1899. Memories. They serve us like bloated bodies rising to the scum of the Thames. I looked at them, covered in blood of their dead mother, the little piglets squaddling in their swaddling, and my heart at once was filled with a great love and a consuming hate I could never have imagined. At that point, did my soul split, creating them? This was the egg of my soul. The moment the great clock began to tick is the only path to redemption to join us together again. To make myself whole, to close the great circle and take that madman into my heart once more and forgive him and myself as well. Tell you this, a far greater slaughter awaits you there. 
I seek to save the world by blood now, before millions fall beneath history, pushed under by blade, bullet, and gas.
Edwin Oswald and I. Save the world. I am your friend. Mandus, please. I am no more evil than you. We sought the same thing. To save humanity. Ridding them of their painful, stupid, pointless lives. Stop! Think about what you are doing. For your children, Mandus, do not speak of my children. into fame. A child's shadow burnt into the brickwork. A house of skulls in the jungle. The innocent, the innocent Mandus trod and bled and gassed and starved and beaten and murdered and enslaved. This is your coming century. They will eat the Mandus. They will make pigs of you all and they will bury their snaps into your ribs and they will eat your hearts. Please, Mandus, no. For your children.
I lay there and watched the god I had created die. At the end, when we were cold as the stone we had hewn his body from, when the lights were nearly all extinguished, we heard, in the silent distance, the man pig singing to one another. Then, as the last lights were gone, and we lay together in the deep, they drifted away, and all was silent. Such a silence I have never known. And as the dust settled on my open eyes, and we lay together embraced forever, I heard, miles above us, the sounds of the city turning over in its sleep. The church bell ringing out. And in that moment, the new century was born. The End Amnesia, a machine for pigs. The Chinese room. Yeah, uh, there's some stuff there uh, to think about if you want to. Uh, I feel like a lot of it's just kind of up to your mind to think about. Um, it's kind of like a soul split thing. And possibly also flower and stuff. And producing that sweet, juicy pig meat. That seemed like a temple at the end there. machine for the pigs so maybe it's just something it's kind of like a thing like it, it's more of a metaphor and everything and not even just stuff you couldn't even comprehend because it's on such a massive scale i don't know i, I kind of doubt that they would try to go that deep into it but i mean i'm guessing i can't so can't fathom that kind of stuff Okay, and that's it. Uh, thank you all for watching. Uh, not... It wasn't... Uh, 
I, I think I like the first uh, Dark Descent more. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna leave that there. You can watch my other videos. Uh, the quality may not be that great in some of them, just because I'm, I'm uh, working through all of that. So yeah, thank you all for watching.